guys, it's Michelle, and I have put together a guide on breeding and how stacking stat mutations works in Ark Survival Evolved. Now this is going to be the long version of the video, and this took me quite a while to actually get done. So I have broken this down into simple easy steps so that you too can follow along. I've also put timestamps down so that you can skip to different areas of the video to make it a little bit easier for you to follow. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started so that you too can breed your very own super mutated dinos. The first step is to ask yourself, what dinosaur do you want to breed? And I ask this question for two main reasons. The first being is if you are on your own server, then you have the ability to manipulate your settings to make both the egg laying time and maturation faster, which will be very useful for you. The second reason, if you are using a mammal to breed, then it has a gestation period, which will make it naturally longer. You can choose to go with a dinosaur that lays eggs. For this video, I've decided to go with the T-Rex, as you guys can see here. Now, the T-Rex maturation and egg hatching speed is very slow, so I have boosted the settings on my server to make this process a bit faster. For step two, you need to tame as many dinosaurs in the wild as possible that have a high level. I would prefer for you guys to tame all level 150s. Now you're going to need both male and female dinosaurs. Um, I went ahead and actually I spawned in 36 T-Rexes and I forced tame them all. So as you guys can see, their levels are all 225, which is something that you would not normally get in the wild. They would be level 224 if they were level 150s. Once you have done this step, it is extremely important that all of you understand that you do not put any levels into your dinosaurs. Do not put any levels into them, and I'll explain why in just a second. So the first thing I want to show you is that if I go up to this T-Rex here, and I look, you see points available, it's ready to level up. But I don't want to do this because this right here are all of the dinos' original stats. And this is going to be very, very useful for you guys to understand how breeding and stacking the stat mutations together works. So for example, this T-Rex here is a male and has 8140 health, 1638 stamina, and 343 on damage. So these are the three stats that I'm going to be looking at. Health, stamina, and melee damage. Because in my opinion, these are most useful. So if I go over to the next dino, this one that I spawned in has 7,700 health, which is a lot lower than the previous one. But this one has 1,680 stamina, which is a little bit higher. So you need to go through all of your level 150 dinos that you've tamed in the wild and look at their stats. So I actually already went through every single one of these stats on here and I found a few Rexes that actually have really good stats. So for example, I've already renamed them. So over here is a male. I called it MO, which means male original and that's health because the, it has the best health out of every single one of these T-Rexes. And again, if I go up to it, it has points. I'm not going to level this. This one has 1100 220. This one here is a female and it has the best damage out of every single one of them, which is 378. And you can see that the health is really bad on this one. So I want to put this melee damage with the other one's health. And if I run way down here, I have a male, original, stamina, which has 22 to 6. So what I want to do is I want to take this male and I'm going to breed it with this female here. And then I'm going to have to take the offspring, breed the male to that. So let me show you actually how this process works. All right, step three. We need to breed for a base pair. But first, we need to establish some ground rules. 
So you have a male and you have a female and you want to take the stats from this one and combine it with the stats on this one here but it's not just damage and it's not just stamina that you need to worry about so for example I'm gonna go up here to my mail and as you guys can look through and see the stats you're gonna notice that some of these stats are better than the females so for example the health on this one, even though we're not going to specifically breed for the health off of this particular male, this one is still better than the female, as is the stamina, as is the oxygen. Now the female actually has better food, but the male has better weight, and then the female has better melee damage. Now we cannot see the movement speed because it's fixed at 100, and the torpidity is the exact same. So what we need to do is we need to combine the best stats between these and the stats between these here. So I've gone ahead and I've written down the best stats that are combined between each of the two parents to be. So let's go ahead and let's start breeding them together. So you go up to the dinosaur, go to behavior, and enable mating. Go up to the male, go to behavior, enable mating. Now if you've done this correctly then above the heart you're gonna notice that there are a bunch of little hearts pumping and sometimes it takes it a second. There we go. So it took it just a second but as you can see the female is mating with this male here and again you can notice by the little heart icons that are beating above the trough or above that original heart because that original heart just means it's mate, mate boosted so what we need to do is we need to collect up as much eggs as possible so let's go ahead and wait until we get as many eggs as we can because you're not going to get it the first time and this is one thing that you guys need to be aware of is that this process does take quite a while. Alright, so the female laid another egg so let's go ahead and grab that and if you look in my inventory I've collected a few eggs. So what I want to do now is I want to take these eggs and I want to go incubate them. So this is the area that I am incubating. Now I've kept these dinos away from the air cons because I don't want them to hatch if I walk away for a minute. That would be very bad. So I'm going to come through here and I want to show you this first. Now these are tech ceilings I'm on and this is a tech foundation and I've colored it so that way I know what's what. Underneath of these ceilings, there's actually air cons, so that way the air cons are not in the way. You can design yours however which way you want. This just works best for me. So I'm going to drop these down one at a time, and I'm going to wait until I actually get the, stat, the stats that I want. Alright, so this one has 7480 for health, 2226, which is good, 630 for oxygen, 13800 for food, 880, and then 378. This is perfect, and it's also perfect because it's a female. So let's go ahead and take this off of wandering behavior, disable wandering. Let's immediately give this some food. So over here in the trough, Whoops, it's all spoiled. But luckily I have some in the fridge. And let's go ahead and give it some food because I don't want this to die. All right, so this little girl here needs to grow up. So what I'm gonna do first before it grows up is we need to name it. So go to option, change name. Right, so I called it Stam Dam Female Original. So that means stamina 
and damage. So let's go ahead and let's wait for this to grow up. While this is growing up, this female right here, it is very important that you do not put any kinds of imprints on it right now. So it's in the baby stage. So that means that it's not eating from a trough. So you need to make sure that its inventory is full of food. So right now its food is at 1974 and it's steadily going down. And if it goes to zero, its health will drop until zero and then it will die. So you need to make sure that all of the babies have food until they become the juvenile stage when they can start eating out of a trough. So what we need to do is we need to take this girl and we need to bring her out over here to let her grow up where she's near a trough and there's troughs out over here next to the rexes that I showed you and I'll show you why getting a female was really good for this in just a second let's put her over here alright so she's already in the juvenile stage which is good um, she still needs to be closer to get to the trough but let me show you something. So this is the stamina and damage female put together. And as you guys can see over here, I still need to get the stat mutation for health because this one is 11-2-2-0. So I want to take the health off of that male I just showed you and breed it with this baby female here. And also, you need to check and make sure that this has no mutations whatsoever, both on the mother side and the father side. Because what we're doing right now is making a base, and the bases do not need a stat mutation just yet. So, let's wait for this little thing to grow up, and then we'll be right back and we'll get to finishing with our base dino. Alright, so on the left I have the female, the baby I bred, and remember this is the stamina and damage, but the health isn't that great, and it's at 7480. Now I do have an original male that has really good health, and that's the one I showed you at the very beginning, 11220. So what I want to do is I want to take the health off of this one and combine it with the stats on this. So I need to make another baby and the baby that's gonna come out that is the perfect blend between these two is gonna be what's called your base pair and this is incredibly important so let's go ahead and let's get these guys breeding up and I'll show you exactly what the base pair should look like in terms of stats there we go and there's an egg so let's go ahead and pick this up and we need to hatch the eggs that I got from those in here. And like I said, I'm going to hatch them one at a time, and I'm going to wait until I get the base pair that I'm looking for. Alright, so this right here has all the stats. It has 11220, 2226, 630, 138, 880, 378, and 100. Now, if I go to show ancestors, there are no mutations on both sides. And remember, this is my base pair. This is my base right now. And this is actually a male. So in order for this to work, when you're actually starting mutations, you need one male and you need as many females as possible so right now I have my base male so real quick I just want to get some food and put the food in the racks And let's go ahead, options, change name. And this is now called base male. So I need to keep breeding the same eggs from these two rexes here until I get my base female.
All right, and this is my first base female. So let's get away from its tail. So we need to go ahead and rename it right now. This is the base female. Okay, so this is perfect. So now that I have a base male and a base female, I could actually begin the stat mutations. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going until I get at least six more base females, and I'll explain why you need so many base females. So let's wait for this one to mature up, and then we're ready to go. On to the next step. All right, on to step four. Step four is we need to now start trying for our first stat mutation. Now, before we begin, these are my original T-Rexes, and they're all out here. So I have the male health, the female damage, the male stamina, and remember, this was the stamina and damage female that I had. And when I combined those, I got my base pair. Now, I said I was gonna go ahead and create some more base females, so, I repeated that process, and as you guys can see, I have many base females. Now, you're going to need a big base as well, too, to hold this many T-Rexes, or whatever creature it is that you plan on breeding. So, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 base females. That's a little bit overkill, but because it is a T-Rex, the egg laying time is a little bit longer still, even with my boosted stats on the server. So you guys can see that I put the base male, I only need one, and I put him in the center. Let's stand on him so we can get a better look. Alright, so I've already turned on all of the females on enable breeding. So let's go ahead to the male, go to behavior, and enable mating. And if you look all around, all of them have the little heart icons. So what I need to do is, because every single dino here now has the same exact stats, the offspring that these will have will all come out at 269. So let's wait until we get our first stat mutation so I can explain this a little bit better visually. So I'm going to wait for these to lay some eggs. Then I'm going to go hatch them and see if we actually get our first stat mutation. And this is exactly why I have 14 base females. So that way they lay eggs all at once, so it's going to make this process so much faster. I just wanted to show you guys this real quick. This is why you want so many. Now, when all of these T-Rexes hatch, I need to be looking for a level that is higher than 269 for me to know whether or not I got my stat mutation. So I went ahead into fly mode and what I'm looking for exactly is level 271. And we're going to check the stats on this one. And let's see, oh this one actually has a health mutation and it's also a boy which is perfect. So my first chain of my stat mutations is going to be on health. So we're going to go ahead and name him. But first, let's take care of these other ones and get them out of the way to make it easier for you guys to see. Right, so I've cleared out all the other ones. So this level you will see is 271, and this is a male. Whenever you get a male mutation, it's actually perfect because this will replace the other one that is in there currently in the pile that I'm looking at. So what we want to do is we need to rename this one. So you go up to it, you go to Options and Change Name. And I've called this one male health, 1 out of 20, because this is the first health mutation out of 20 that you can get. So let me show you real quick inside here. So when I go to the ancestors, it's going to say on the right hand side, random mutations. Now we have one mutation right now, which is the health, and it's 1 out of 20 right now. So that is what we want to do. So from here on out, 
The only stat mutation that I need to look for when I breed these up now is going to be for health. Um, so I need to let this one grow up and then I can show you how to repeat this process again. So that way we're only getting that, that stat mutation. Another important consideration when doing this is that you need to be keeping track of what it is that you're mutating in the exact mutations. Now remember guys, you see how this wants me to cuddle it? You do not want to do that. What I do want to know though is the exact number on this for the health. So it's 11660 and if you remember the original stat was 11220. So what I'm going to do is I need to write this down somewhere so that I can remember. So what I've done is inside here where I'm breeding them up, I've put a little sign. And this lets me know exactly what I'm doing. So I'm on a health mutation, and I'm on 1 out of 20, and the next health mutation needs to be greater than 11660, and that will let me know if I've done this correctly. Now, we need to also talk about the eggs that are left over in here. Now, yes, I could take these and save them up, because at the very end, when I've reached all 20 mutations on health, then I could use these eggs from the base to start the next chain, which could be either stamina or melee damage. So it's up to you to decide whether or not you want to keep these eggs or not. But it's very important that you understand that you will always keep your base female and your base male. You never want to get rid of these dinos, especially if you plan on doing stacking stat mutations like I am. So I'm going to wait for that little guy to grow up a little bit more, and then we're going to start breeding for the next chain. Now that my male has grown up, remember this is the first stat mutation on health, and these are my base females. You will always need your base females out. But that being said, sometimes you will actually need your base male out, so I'm keeping him to the side just as a backup. So now the next step to get your second stat mutation on health is to breed the health one that you've just gotten, and hopefully it's a male. If it's a female, I will show you what happens a little bit later when I get mine. And you go over to behavior, enable mating, and now this one will breed with all of the base females in the base right now. Now the level that we're going to be looking for when we get our next health mutation should be 273 because as you guys can see the base female is 269 and if we get the proper one this is 271 it should be 273 alright so let's go ahead and wait and I will show you what happens when we breed these up Alright guys, and there we go. There is the next health stat mutation. So we need to go ahead and rename this, but first let's go ahead and unclaim the other so that we don't get confused. Now this might seem a bit brutal to you guys, but the reason why I have this theory here is so that I can kill the bad ones. So now that those are out of the way, I can go ahead and I can, let's see, put them on passive, put them on stop, and this is the one. So let's go ahead and cryo this. And if you guys don't have cryos, I really recommend that you get them because they're dead useful.
You also need to get rid of the bodies as well too, because when you hatch the babies, um, if the newly hatched babies see the dead bodies, they want to run immediately. Alright, so let's go ahead and come over here. And we need to turn him off immediately. So go to options, excuse me, behavior, disable mating. Now the rest of these eggs that are out, these are no good anymore. So we need to get rid of these eggs and we can actually eat them or we can toss them away or just let them rot. But let's go ahead and pull this guy out. All right, so this is my male. It's another male, which is perfect. I didn't get a female. When you get a female, it's very unlucky. Now, again, you do not want this to actually get any kind of imprint. So we need to make sure that it's on Disable Wondering as well. That's good. We need to rename him. So this is number 2 out of 20. As you guys can see here on the right-hand side, this is 2 out of 20. So we're going to go ahead and rename him. So that tells me this is the male health stat mutation, 2 out of 20. All right. Now the stat on this is 12100. 12100. So we need to go over here and change our sign. All right, there we go. Now, this is going to be important for you guys. So this male right here, this one here, we no longer need him anymore. So he is done for good. So what you want to do is you want to cryo this up. And if you guys don't have cryopods, I absolutely recommend that you use them and you can always go to extinction if you have that and you can get some cryopods so I'm gonna bring him over here to this cryo fridge and to make myself very organized because you do need to be organized you want to make a new folder and I just called it health so I'm going in here and I'm gonna go ahead and put this one here and this is the male one out of 20. I'm gonna keep this until the end so I can show you guys. Alright so my male health two out of 20 is in the middle and the base females are still out so again you're gonna still need your base females for this entire process as well as your base male on the side. So let's go ahead and breed this up and continue with the health mutations. Right so I'm looking for level 275 with over 12,100 in health. Let's see if we get it this time. And there we go! It's a female, so I get to show you guys what it's like to actually work with the female when you get the mutation on her. So it's at 12,540. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's get her on Disable Wondering. Passive and unfollow. Alright, let me just get her out and then I can show you what we do with her next. Right, so the health sign is set. I have 3 out of 20, but I'm looking for more than 12540. And what we need to do now is we really need to breed for a male. And I'll explain this in just a second. I'm going to pull her to the center where my current male 2 out of 20 is. Now you have to think about it like this. What we have here is a female, and all of these are base females. So when we have a male on, every single one of these base females is going to lay an egg that could give us more of a chance to give us our stat mutation. So what we have to do basically is if we breed a female stat mutated dino, we have to breed it with a base regardless. So this female health, 3 out of 20, has to breed with this base male. To make the process easier, what I'm going to do is breed the female health 3 out of 20 with the base male until I get a male the same exact stats as this female here. So I'm going to look for a male so I can just replace this one 
and her out of the middle to breed with the rest. So let me go ahead and let me cryo this up. This male, 2 out of 20, I no longer need him. We're going to immediately put him in the fridge, in the cryo fridge over here. And I'm going to put him in health. So you see we have 1 out of 20. Now we have 2 out of 20. But both of those are males. So let me bring my male over. Next to this female, we're going to go ahead and turn her on. Behavior, enable mating. And then I'm going to turn my base male on. So remember, you always have to have a base male, or just a base in general, to breed with your stat mutated dino. So again, I'm not necessarily going to breed for my 4 out of 20. I'm just going to breed these two so that I can get a male the exact same level as her. So that way it makes the breeding process with the rest of these females easier. So I'm going to get a few eggs from this one female, and I will see you guys back in a second to show you what that's like, getting the male. Now, we are not looking for anything but 275 here. So we have two. We just need to make sure that one of these is a male. So that's a female. And that one's a male. So we can go ahead and unclaim the female, because remember, we are just looking for a level 275 male. This will make the process so much faster. And if done correctly, this will have the exact same stats as that female 3 out of 20. The only thing that we have to do now is we need to rename this. There we go. Male health, 3 out of 20. So what we need to do is let this grow up, and I will show you how we begin after he grows up. So the male has grown up, so we can go ahead and put him in the center. But the first thing that we need to do is we need to take the female out. The female health 3 out of 20, because we no longer need her. I went ahead and put my base male back over here against the wall. I took him off mating. You need to always remember to take him off of mating. So behavior, see how it's off right now? Because if you're accidentally breeding with these ones while you have your other male out here, then you're going to get a jumble of eggs that are bred by different fathers, and you don't want that. So what we're going to do now is take the male, let's get on top of him, put him in the center, and the way I've organized this is just perfect so that way I can get to all the females. Just make sure that I'm lined up well. Get off of him. Go to behavior and enable mating. Now, when you guys are doing this, if you get a bunch of females, don't worry, you can always breed back for the male like I've done here. Now, from here on out, it's pretty straightforward. So what I'm going to do is I will still be recording my mutations as I get them, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory. So right here, you see I'm at 12540. My next stat mutation must be in health. Guys, once you start the chain in one area, you must finish it in that area. You cannot deviate. You cannot put one in stamina. Do not put one in oxygen nor you can put one in food, don't put one in weight, don't put one in damage, etc. You need to keep it in one area. So as you guys can see, I'm at 3 out of 20. If you were to have a, have a stamina mutation in with this, then the numbers would go up much higher, much quicker. And what we're trying to do is maximize the stats that we get out of health. Don't worry about the other ones just yet, because we've not even begun on those areas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my male to breed with my base females, and I'm going to continue this process. So once I get some more eggs, I will show you what it's like when I hatch those. And I'm looking for over 12, 
fifty. Twelve five hundred on health. There's a two seven seven. It is female. Nope. There's one. And there we go. There is another one. And luckily it is a male. So let's go ahead. Options. Change name. And we are on our fourth mutation. So again, I'm going to let him grow up. And I'm going to change him out for the 3 out of 20 that is in the middle over there. And I'm going to keep this process rolling with you guys. Let's cryo the male 3 out of 20 out of the center. Because we are on 4 out of 20 at the moment. Let's go ahead and get the male. 4 out of 20. Put him in the middle with the base females. Back him up a bit so he reaches them all. Behavior, enable mating. Now remember guys, he's on level 277. The next mutation will be 279. And you know this because every time you get a mutation, it has to be higher than the highest level parent at this point. So it's going to be 279 and above 12980. So again, just make sure you are repeating this process every single time. So I'm going to go to my sign and change that as well. Health. 4 out of 20. It has to be greater than 12980. Don't forget to put away your previous mutation. So I'm going to put away my 3 out of 20 mutation in the fridge. And there's my two 3 out of 20s. Remember, female, male. And there we go. And we're going to keep going for all 20 mutations. Because remember, if you guys look, show ancestors. We are on 4 out of 20 right now. Right, so I'm looking for level 279 with health above 12980. There's one. And there it is. And it's a female, so we're going to have to do the same process again. So let's go ahead and rename her real quick. Options, change name. 5 out of 20. She's 13, 420. 13, 420. So we're going to change the sign. Right, so 5 out of 20 greater than 13, 420 is what we're looking for next. So we're going to let her grow up. And then we're going to change her for a male. Right, so the female 5 out of 20 has grown up. She's level 279. Let's go ahead and put her in the middle. And remember, we need to breed for a same level, 279, but male. So we'll put her here. He's no longer useful, so we're going to go ahead and cryo the 4 out of 20. Alright, so remember that always a stat mutated dino has to breed with a base. So because she's female, she has to breed with the base male. So we're going to bring the base male over. Put him on behavior enable mating. And put her on behavior enable mating. So I need to breed these two up and I need to get a level 279 male, which is the same exact stats as this female here. 279, and it's a male, so we're going to go ahead and rename it. Options, change name. Male health, 5 out of 20, and we're going to go ahead and let him grow up, and then we can continue the process for our 6 out of 20. The male, 5 out of 20, has grown up. And just to be clear, when you guys check your stat mutations, always make sure that you're correct. So go to Show Ancestors, and I am on 5 out of 20 right now, as you guys can see over here. So let's go ahead and trade the 520 out in the center.
we can turn the female off over here. Behavior. Oh, she already is off. Okay. Go over here. Let's turn the male off. Behavior. Disable mating. Because this is the base male. We're going to put him back. And we're going to go up to the male. Health 5 out of 20. Behavior. Enable mating. And he is going to be mating, currently breeding with base female, if you guys can see on the right hand side on the box. So let's go ahead and cryo the female up because she's no longer needed. We'll put her away and we'll let him breed with all of the base females that are out right now. And we'll continue on with our 6 out of 20. Alright, so I'm looking for level 281 with health higher than 13420. There's a white one. And that's it right there, guys. And it's a male, so let's go ahead and rename it. Options, change name. This is our 6 out of 20, so let's go ahead and make it stay. Double check its stats. 13860. So let's change the sign. 13860. So we currently have a, a health stat 6 out of 20 with greater than 13860. Alright. Let's go ahead and let this little guy here grow up and then we can start for 7 out of 20. Right, so the male 6 out of 20 has grown up and really quick we're just going to go up to him, show ancestors. Now, sometimes this may happen, you might have 5 out of 20 or whatever mutation you're on, and then over on the left you'll have one random mutation, vice versa. As long as you are following your chain, meaning your chain on health or whatever area that you're focusing on and continuing that and it's increasing, then you know you're doing it right. When I breed for my level 2, 8, 3, which will be my next level for 7 out of 20, all of the mutations will be on the same side. So let's go ahead and change him out here for the center. We can put away the old male, the 5 out of 20. Let's cryo him up. Put him more towards the center. Back him up a bit. Behavior, enable mating. Now he will be breeding with all the others. Now you're going to notice too that as you do these mutations for stats, you're also going to get mutations for color. In my opinion, color does not matter. Like I know that color is nice and pretty to look at and everything, but again, we're not breeding these for color because in the end, color's pointless. It doesn't mean anything. What we're more concerned about are the stats themselves and how to boost them to a higher level. So just keep that in mind as you guys are breeding as well too, because again, color doesn't mean anything. By the time I get to 20 out of 20, it's no longer going to be white. It'll probably be something like blue or orange or heck, even yellow. Might even be pink. So again, don't worry about color, just worry about your chain and your stat mutations. Right, so I'm looking for level 283 with health higher than 13860. Ooh, a nice red one. Nope. Of course it wouldn't be the red one. There's another one over here in the corner. It's got a blue belly. And there we go! 14... Three zero zero. So let's go ahead and rename this one. It's got a blue belly, which is different. So again, you gotta be looking for actually numbers and not color. And again, I'm not concerned about the color, so change the name. Alright, there we are. Right, so the male 7 out of 20 has grown up. So the next level we're gonna be looking for is level 285 with health higher than 14300. So let's go ahead and get on this one. Let's put him in the middle. We're going to cryo the white one because we no longer need this one. 
Ours is a male. Put him more in the center. And go ahead and behavior enable mating. So remember, mutated is breeding with bases. So I'm looking for level 285. Ooh, that's an ugly color. <laughs> and that's the stat mutation. 14740, and it's male. Okay. Alright, so it's 8 out of 20. That's correct. Let's go ahead and name it. Options. <laughs> Change name. There we go. 8 out of 20. 1474. 1474. I can get out of here. There we go. 1474. Change the sign. And there we go. So we're going to let that male there grow up. And then we're going to continue the process. Alright, so the male health 8 out of 20 mutation has grown up. And let's go ahead and replace him in the middle. We're going to get rid of the 7 out of 20. So we're going to cryo him up. Put this male in the center. Hopefully we can get rid of this color. And behavior enable mating. There we go. And remember, the mutation needs to breed with a base as always. Alright, so we're going to get some eggs out of these females around the corner. And we are going to go for our next mutation, which will be level 287. And the health should be higher than 1474. Zero. Right, so I'm looking for level 287 with health higher than 14740. There's one. And that's it. 15180. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's do this. We're going to rename it so we are on currently... is a male. It is 9 out of 20. 9 out of 20. And it has 15180. So we're going to go ahead and put this thing on passive. We're going to stop it following. And we're also going to disable one ring. So 15180. Let's change the sign now. It's still an ugly color. One eight zero eight one zero. Either way, it'll be a lot higher when it's on its next round. Let's see real quick. Yeah, one eight zero. All right, so we're gonna let this little guy grow up, and we're gonna replace it with the male that is currently in the center over there. And I will see you guys in a second. All right, so the nine out of ten has grown up, so let's go ahead and put him in the center. Now I didn't realize it until. It was grown up, but look, it actually has an orange belly, or a light orange belly. So we can go ahead and actually cryo up the 8 out of 10 male, because we no longer need him. Put the 9 out of 10 on enable mating. And then we're going to go for our 10 out of 20 on the health mutation. Alright, and I will see you when we get the 10 out of 20. So breed these ones up, collect the eggs, and hatch them to get the 10 out of 20. And the level we're going to be looking for is 289, with health higher than 15180. Oh, 289. And 15, uh, 15620, that's it. Now, it is female, so we're going to have to do the same processes before that I've shown you guys. So let's go ahead and claim her, and let's rename her as well. 
Right, so she is the 10 out of 20, and 15, 6, 2, 0. Let's go ahead and change the sign. 15, 2, 6, 0. Right, so health 10 out of 20, and we need to look for a greater than 15 to 6 0. So she's following us, let's go ahead and put her on behavior. Disable wondering. Unfollow and passive. Alright, so let her grow up, and then we can trade her for the male. Now, the color on her is way better. Plus, she still has the orange belly, which is quite nice. It's like a light purple like that a lot actually. Right, so the female 10 out of 20 has grown up so let's go ahead and take her and put her over to the side next to the base male because if you guys remember the stat, the stat mutated dino has to breed with a base dino so because she's a female she cannot breed with the other base females so the female stat mutated 10 out of 20 health has to breed with the base male. So we're going to go ahead and take her, put her on behavior, enable mating, put the male on behavior, enable mating, and we can actually go ahead and cryo up this, ma this male health 9 out of 20 because we no longer need him. So what we're going to do is get a few eggs, and what we need to do is we need to hatch a male level 289, the same as this stat mutated female, we need a 289 male to replace to go in the center here. And it is, so let's go ahead and rename it. Now remember, this is the same exact mutation as that female that is out there right now, so it's still 10 out of 20 and not 11. So the male 10 out of 20 has grown up so we can go ahead and take him and put the male in the center. Right there will do. So the male health 10 out of 20 is going to breed with the base female so let's go ahead and take him behavior enable mating and he's going to breed with these ladies here. Now, we don't need the female 10 out of 20 anymore, because remember, we want the male to breed with all of these base females. So we can take her. Make sure that your base male, the one that we were just breeding her with, is off as well, so that he is not mating with any dinos. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to put the female 10 out of 20 in the fridge with the rest of the other health mutations. And so far we are coming along just nicely. Right, let's go ahead and carry on. And this male, 10 out of 20, is going to breed with all the base females so that we can go for our next health mutation, which will be level 291 with health higher than 15 620. I think before I said 260, but either way, above 15620. Oh, there's a couple here. Triplets, I think. Twins. Nope. And no. 291, there's another set of twins. And there it is, and that one's a female, so let's check this one here. Sometimes if you get twins, you get a female and a male. Yep, and there we go. 16060. So, there we go. That is our mutation 11 out of 20. So we're going to go ahead and name him. So option, change name. And that is the one we want. So the other one that was a twin was a female, and this one was a male. So that's perfect. Now, you need to keep in mind that the twins are not always both males or both females. They can be opposite sex as well. They'll have just the same stats, though. So 16060 is what we're looking for next. 
So let's change the sign. 16060. All right, so we're going to be looking for our 12 out of 20. So let's go ahead and take them off of following and make them passive as well. That's not the one I want. He's over here. Alright, so we're going to let this male 11 out of 20 grow up. The male 11 out of 20 has grown up and it's kind of nice to see it a little bit bigger because you can see the color change as well too. We've made quite a bit of a jump between the color. So let's go ahead and take him and we're going to put him in the center. Over here. So we have our 11 out of 20, and then we have our 10 out of 20. We no longer need the 10 out of 20, so we're going to go ahead and cryo him up. And remember, because this 11 out of 20 is our stat mutated dino, we need to breed the stat mutated dino with a base dino. So. 11 out of 20 male, stat mutated, is going to breed with all of these base females here that are surrounding it. So let's go up to him, behavior, enable mating. All of these females are going to lay eggs, which I will collect, and then I will distribute over there to the aircons so that we can get our next level, which will be 11 out of 20. Now the level we're going to be looking for for this round will be 293 and the health will be above 16060. 293, there's one. Nope. There's another. Nope. There's one. That's it, 16500. And luckily, it is a male. So let's go ahead and rename it. Options, change name. We are on our 12th out of 20 mutation, and the number is 16500. So that's what we need to go for next. The male 12 out of 20 has finally grown up. Let's just go ahead and look at his stats. And as you can see, we are we are on random mutation 12 out of 20. So we need to continue. So let's take this male 12 out of 20. Remember, we're putting him in the center because he is a boy. We are going to cryo the male 11 out of 20 because he is no longer useful. I still recommend that you do not get rid of your actual mutations, any of them. Keep a, ca keep a log of them just in case if somewhere down the line you accidentally mess up on your mutations. Put him in the center. Alright, so we're going to put the 12 out of 20 on enable mating. And this male stat mutated dino is going to breed with the base females. Right, so I'm looking for level 295 with health higher than, higher than 16500. There's a 295. And I think it's a twin. 165, yep. Let's check this one. 165, yes, okay. Any more 295s? Yep, there's one over here. That one looks like a twin as well. But I'll check. You always check. Can't really reach it. Oh, here's one here. Oh, there it is! Okay. That's amazing. Okay. So we are on... And it's a male too. That's good. So 16940. So let's rename him. Options change name. Now this is our 13th out of 20 mutation. Go here. 13 out of 20. Right here, if you're curious, those are the parents. Alright. So 16940. Hell, 13 out of 20 has finally grown up, so let's go ahead and get on him. And we're going to put him in the center because he is a male, so that he can breed with all the base females. Get off him. Now we need to cryo up the male that's in the middle, 12 out of 20, because he is no longer useful. So let's go ahead and get to the cryo. There we go. 
Let's angle him a bit more towards the center. Boom forward. Back up. So that he reaches all of the females. Go to behavior. Enable mating. Now the next level that we need to look for for our next health mutation will be 297. And the health will be greater than 16940. There's a 297. Wrong one. And there it is. And let's go ahead and rename it. And it's a male as well. So this will be our 14th. Yes. So 17380. There we go. Check it one more time. 17380. So we need to go ahead and change the sign right about now. Seventeen three eight, and there we go so we're gonna let that little guy over there grow up and then we're gonna replace the 14 out of 20 with that 13 out of 20 in the center over there so let's wait for him to go ahead and grow up 14 out of 20 has finally grown up so let's go ahead and get on him and let's take him to the center Now, we don't need the 13 out of 20 anymore because he's useless, so let's go ahead and cryo him up. There we are. Put this one towards the center. Behavior, enable mating. Is this one breeding? I think it needs to move closer. There we go. So we're going to let this guy right here, this 14 out of 20, breed with all of the bases, and then we will get our eggs, and we will hatch for our 15th out of 20. I'm looking for level 299 with health higher than 17380. There's one. And that's it. Um, 17820. Alright, so let's go ahead and rename this one. And it is a male, which is good. So, option, change name. We are on our 15th out of 20, so let's go ahead, behavior, disable wondering. And that was 17. 820. Health. 15 out of 20 has grown up. He is level 299, so let's go ahead and get on him. And we need to replace him in the center with the old stat mutation, which is health 14 out of 20. And we are currently on 15 out of 20. So let's go ahead and go and cryo this one up. Now remember, the stat mutated dino has to breed with bases. So I'm going to take this one, back him up, behavior, enable mating. Now the next stat mutation will be over 17820 in health, and the level will be 301. zero ones. You have to make sure you're looking very thoroughly through all of them, otherwise you'll miss them. There's triplets right there, and I know they're triplets because they're all the same color. Let's go ahead and claim one of them. And that's it! 18260, there we go. Show ancestors. 16 out of 20. Ah, oh, that's amazing. Okay, so 18 to 60. Let's go ahead and put this off of following. And we have to rename him. Because we are on 
our 16th out of 20. Just making sure it is male. Yes, it is. It is 16 out of 20. 18 to 6 0. Let's go ahead and put him in the center. So he is our new mutation. We need to get rid of the old one. 15 out of 20. I will put him in the fridge later. So we're going to put the 16 out of 20 in the middle, the one that we just bred. Put him in the dead center so he can breed with all the females. There we go. And remember guys, don't worry about the other stats. We're just working on health right now. I will eventually get to stamina and I will get to melee damage because those are the other areas that I would like to work in. So this one is level 301. He is going to breed with all the base females. The next level that we need to look for is going to be level 303 because remember it goes up in increments of 2. 303 and the health must be higher than 18 260. There's a blue one here. And that's it. That's perfect. Alright, so let's go ahead and rename it. So this will be stat mutation 17 out of 20. Um, one of the mutations is over here. That, su that does sometimes happen. But just remember you need to be following and making sure that the mutation is going into health. Right, so 18700. Let's rename him. Eighteen seven hundred. We're gonna go to behavior, disable wandering. Put him on passive and disable following. And we need to change the sign immediately, just in case we accidentally imprint. Right, so Let's go ahead and let this little guy grow up. It is male. And when we're done, I'm going to go ahead and replace the 17 out of 20 with the 16 out of 20 that's in the center over there. And let's go ahead and replace the 17 out of 20 with the old one over here. So bring him over. We can cry up this old one because we no longer need it. And you saw that one was level 301. This one is level 303. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this in the center and continue the process. Now this is getting extremely repetitive, but I just want to show you guys the entire process of one entire 20 out of 20 stat mutation. Okay, so the next level we are going to be looking for has to be 305, and the health must be greater on the baby than 18700. So when I find the baby that's higher than 18700 in health, I know I've gotten the stat mutation, as long as it's also level 305. Right, so we're going to let this little guy here breed up with all the females, and then we're going to continue the process. Ooh. Oh, come on, please be it. Dang. Would have ran around on a pink T-Rex raining inside. Okay, design mechanic. I saw one to the right. Over here. Oh, that's it. It's female. Um, 19140. I'm going to check the other 305 over here because I really don't want to raise another female. I have to change it out. Well, that's a female too. Yeah, and that, look, and that's the same exact one. Dang. I think that one was actually a twin. Maybe it was a triplet. Let's see. Dang, it would be so cool if it was that pink one. Oh, there is another 305. I see it. Please be a male. Please be a male. Wow, three females. That's okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and rename her. So 
she is 18 out of 20 and her health is 19 one of four zero so we need to change the sign 19 one of four zero all right I need to let her grow up remember this is a female so when you get a female you have to trade it out for a male so I'm gonna let her grow up outside of here wait till she grows up and then I will show you the process one more time or maybe another time with how getting a stat mutated female works. So the female 18 out of 20 has finally grown up so let's go ahead and take her and we are gonna put the female, remember this is a female stat mutated dino, we're gonna put her close to the base male which we parked over to the side. We need to go up to him, behavior enable mating, we need to go to her behavior enable mating. We can cryo this old one up, this male health 17 out of 20, because we are on 18 out of 20. Right, so this female stat mutated dino is going to breed with the base male. Remember, the stat mutated dino, regardless of its gender, always has to breed with a base. So what we're going to do with her is we're going to breed these two together until we get a couple eggs and then the egg we're going to look for, the baby we're going to look for, is going to be the same level as her, 305, just a boy so that we can replace her in the center because if you think about it, we're only going to get one egg from her each time and the process is going to be painfully slow. And if you look all around, I have all these base females here, so it makes sense to have a male stat mutated to breed with. Right, so I'm looking for level 305, the same as the stat mutated female out there. I'm just looking for a, a male to replace her with. That's a female. There's another 305. And that is a male. So remember, we're going to call this the exact same thing, except it's a male. So we go to Options, Change Name. It's still an 18 out of 20, because nothing has changed. It's still 18 out of 20. All right. And we're going to let this little guy here grow up and then we're going to continue the process for our 19 out of 20 stat mutation. Right, so the male health 18 out of 20, level 305, has finally grown up. And remember, this is the same exact number and same exact stats as the last female I got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to park him in the center where I've been parking the males before. I need to take her, go to behavior, disable mating. This is the female, 18 out of 20. I don't need her anymore, so let's go ahead and cryo her up. You also need to make sure that your base male is turned off as well when you're breeding with a female that is stat mutated. So go up to him as well. Behavior, disable mating. We do not want him breeding with any of the base females because that means we're going to basically go back to where we started. So he's off. Collect up any eggs that may have been laid that are not the ones you need. Get rid of them. Go up to the male. All of my base females are turned on. All of my base females are turned on. And what we need to do is breed this male stat mutated Rex, 18 out of 20, with the base females. So that way, we're going to get our 19 out of 20. It's going to be much faster with all these base females as well. Now the next number we need to look for together is level 307, 307. And the health must be higher on the baby than 19,140. So when we get the baby, if it's level 307 and it's higher than this number right here automatically, then that is our stat mutation that we are looking for. So let's breed him up. 
with the females and let's get a few eggs and let's go for our 19 out of 20 stat mutated health racks. There's triplets. Nope. Just double check, make sure they actually aren't all triplets. Oh! That one's not. This is a stat mutated. It's female, but it'll do. Um, 19580. Right, so we got our female 19 out of 20, and again, females are paying the butt, so I'm just gonna double check and make sure that there's not any more 307s. But I will take that female if there are... Yeah, there's no more. Okay, so she is 19580. So what we have to do is change the sign. And if you guys can see... There we go. 19580. Let's go change the sign, and then we're going to let her grow up, and then we have to replace her as well for a male. Level 307 has grown up. Remember, because it's a female, we need to change it for a male. So let's hop on her. We're going to immediately run to the back. Come on, you can fit. And what we have to do is we need to put her next to the male. And it is getting crowded up in here. So I'm going to put her over here. Go up to her. Do behavior, enable mating. Go up to the base male. Remember, because this is a stat mutated dino, it needs to breed with a base. So because it's female, it's got to breed with the base male. So go up to the base male, behavior, enable mating. We're going to let them hatch up a few eggs. And what we need from the baby is the same exact level as the mother to get the male. So we're going to be looking for a male health 19 out of 20 level 307 with the exact same stats so that a way we can put the male like normal right here in the center so that the breeding up with all of these females makes it faster right we don't need him anymore so let's cryo up him and remember I am looking for a male same exact stats as the mother here so that way I can put a boy in the center where I'm jumping up and down right now to breed with all of these base females. Perfect. This one's a male. Now I'm going to go ahead and disable following and put it on passive. I have a cryopod on me and this is what I normally do. I take it, I cryo it up. There we go. Put it out here and rename it. Options, change name. Male health 19 out of 20. So this little guy here needs to grow up and I'm not going to imprint on him. Remember, he is the same exact level and the same exact stats as the mother right here. We're gonna put this male we're going to put that little male, when he grows up, in the center here to breed with all of these females so that the chances of laying eggs is much higher and faster than doing it off of one. We need to take him and we need to put him in the center amongst all of the base females because this is our stat mutated male. Now before we turn him on, we need to go over to these two that we had before. We need to go to behavior, disable mating. Behavior, disable mating. We don't need her anymore because this is a female and we need males for the stat mutations. So we're going to put her away. She's got an egg there. 
And now we can oh, go up to him, make sure he's off as well. Yes, he is. He's off. Okay, good. So the base mail is off. And what we need to do is we need to go to the stat mutated mail, behavior, enable mating. This stat mutated male, 19 out of 20, is going to breed with all of these base females. Now, here's the thing guys, what we are going for next is our last and final stat mutation, which is 20 out of 20. And what I'm going to do is I need to look for 309 for our next level. So what I'm going to do is make sure that this guy breeds with all these females, lay a bunch of eggs, and we need to look for this exactly. Level 309 for the baby, because it's going to be too higher than, than the parent here. 309 with health that is greater than 19580. So let's let this guy breed with all the females, lay some eggs, and then I'm going to hatch up some babies. I'm looking for level 309 with health higher than 19580. This one here. And there is the final stat mutation, 20 out of 20. It is a female, so let's go ahead and rename it. Alright, and it is complete. So go to Show Ancestors, and if you look, you will have, for random mutations, um, 20 out of 20. Okay? So what we need to do is let her grow up. Let's go ahead and put her on passive. So behavior, attack your target. It automatically goes to attack your target. Passive. And she's already following me. That's good. There's also another one here. I'm just going to check it real quick. Yeah, that's something else entirely. So let's get her out of here. And the easiest way that I do that is I take a cryopod. And I cryo her up. The reason why I have this theory here, guys, is to get rid of these excess um, babies like this. We need to get rid of these because otherwise if you were to keep every single baby rex or whatever that you're trying to mutate, you're going to end up with thousands. And I'm not joking when I say that, we'll end up with thousands. So whoops. <laughs> She's got cryo sickness now. So what I'm going to let her do is go ahead and grow up. And then this is pretty much done. Um, we do have another step in terms of stacking the stat mutations. Let's her have a little nap. And when she gets up and she's ready, um, I will show you guys on to the next step. Right, so the female Rex 20 out of 20 has finally grown up. And this is the final and last stat mutation for health. So you can see that it's... 20,000 right now. So if I go to show ancestors, you can see on the right up at the top that it's 20 out of 20. Now, here's the thing. The stamina, even though this is good for um, a 150 that was tamed, I can still actually mutate this. And I said I was going to mutate health, stamina, and melee damage. The next area that I'm going to go for is actually mutating melee damage. But here's the thing. This right here is a chain. The female health that I've been working on all the way up to 20 out of 20 has been a chain for just health because you guys have known that I've not done anything with stamina nor have I done anything with melee damage as I've been mutating them. So what you have to do is you have to have different chains. So for example, I did a health chain just now. I'm going to have to do a separate 
chain for stamina and a separate chain for melee damage. The next one I'm going to go for is a chain for melee damage. And I just want to show you exactly what that looks like as a chain that is finally complete. So as you guys can see, I went ahead and I pulled out all of my Rexes that were stat mutated on health. And this is the chain that I'm talking about. And I want you to notice two things as I go by. I want you to notice their level, their gender as well, so this is a male, and I want you to notice their color. Because the color does not always stay the same. And for those of you who are curious about actually going for color, like I don't think that's such an important thing to be considering. Because as you guys can see, the color changes drastically as you mutate. And there seems to be a pattern as well with mine at least. Now you're also going to notice that the levels are going up by 2. So 91, 93, 95, 97, 99, etc. All the way up to my final, over there in the corner, 309. Now if your numbers are a little bit different, um, that's fine as long as the stat mutation is correct. So here's the thing. We need to start a new chain. And I said the next chain that I'm going to go for is melee damage. So in order to do this, we have to start breeding a base with a base because basically we're going back to the first step over here with my 1 out of 20. Except this time, instead of it being health, it is going to be melee damage. I'm going to quickly turn him off so that he doesn't have the females lay too many eggs. So let's just go over this one more time. I'm only going to do 1 out of 20 for melee damage, so that way you guys can see it. Now from here on, I am not going to be recording my stat mutations for melee damage, nor am I going to be recording for the stamina mutation when I go for that. But I want to show you that the process is still very much the same. And I need to be clear with you that this is a completely separate chain than the one that's out there. All that out there that I'm looking at now is health. What we're going to start doing now is making a chain for damage. So the first thing we need to do is we have a base male. That's why we kept him. I had him on enable mating with the base females. Remember 269, 269, same exact stats. And the melee damage on this one is 378.7. So to do the melee damage, the 1 out of 20 for melee damage, the level must be 271, and the melee damage must be higher than 378. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take these eggs, and I'm going to hatch them up to get my first melee chain mutation for this next set. So I'm on 378, so I need to look for something higher than that. So these eggs are from the male 269 and the females 269. And remember, those are my base. What I am looking for is a level 271 that has melee damage that's higher than 378. And this will be for my first chain. Nope. On this one, there's another 271 that I see. Nope. Any more 271s right here? Nope. Here's another. And there we go. So that one was 378, and this one is now up to 390. And this is a female. So this is our first start, this is our first chain for melee damage. So what we need to do to start this, let's go ahead and rename her, and it's a beautiful orange color as well. Option change name. Female damage 1 out of 20. And it is 
390, what she currently has. So I'm going to go over to this new sign. Move, please. And there we go. So, if I can get out of here. We have started the first chain for melee damage. So what I need to do is I need to let her grow up. And again, guys, I'm not going to record this entire process. Um, it is the same exact step as the health. But remember, when you start a chain for damage, you need to continue the chain for damage. Now then, I've gone ahead and I finished all three of the chains that I mentioned I was going to do. I finished health with you all in the video. Now, off camera, I went ahead and I completed my damage chain, which I had started, and then I went ahead and I finished up my stamina chain, all the way to 20 out of 20. Now, the first thing that I want to show you is my health chain, and this is the same health chain that I did with you all. But what I want to do is I want to show you the actual stats and make sure that you have done this correctly as well. So this is my first mutation, and it was in health. So the health is actually a little bit higher than the base. Now, once you get that health mutation, or whatever stat that you are mutating first, you must continue with that actual stat. So for example, this one I started in health. It's 11660. So I must continue with health. When I breed this one, I must get health again. This one, you guys can see, is 12,100. And as you continue down the line, from 2 out of 20 to 3 out of 20, the health mutation is going to be higher. The health stat will be higher. And as long as you follow along with this, it will continue to grow and be higher. Now these two are the same. Because remember, I got a female and I had to switch it over to a male in the breeding process. You can also notice that the actual level of the dino is changing. So it's growing in increments of two. And as you guys go, you can actually see that the color changes as well too. I'm not particularly fond of like any kind of colors, and I don't really care for colors. I'm more concerned about breeding a dino that can be tanky and can do a lot of damage and is just a versatile creature. Now I want to go up to female 10 out of 20. 15,000 in health. There's my male 10 out of 20 and as you keep going down the level's going to get higher and sometimes your colors change. Now my 20 out of 20 is missing here because I went ahead and put it to the side. So all the way up to 19 out of 20 over here. I want to go ahead and show you guys this. This is what I did after my health mutation. This is the damage mutation that I started with you. Now remember, when I got this damage mutation, I had to take the base male and I had to take the base female, breed those together until I got the damage mutation. And once I got it, I had to keep breeding for the damage. So let me just show you what the mutation looks like. 390. And then once I got this male, I bred it with the base female, and I kept breeding until I got another damage mutation on top of this one. And again, the numbers are growing in increments of two. So you can see 402. 414, the damage is going to keep getting higher. Except this one, because this is both a female and a male. 425, etc. And it keeps going all the way up. And I will go quickly down the line so I can show you that the level of the dino increases by 2. Plus, I'd like to show you some of the color mutations that I got, because some of them were actually quite pretty. The one that was down there, that red and white one, I was quite fond of. And keep going. And there's my 19 out of 20. And as long as your damage is increasing, the stat that you are working on, then you're doing this correctly. 
And there should be a definite pattern to your levels as well as when you go up to it and you say show ancestors. There should be a definite pattern. So just make sure that yours is the same. Now this is my stamina mutation and I'm going to do this in reverse because I'm over here. And again, notice the levels, you can notice the colors, but the stamina on this one is all the way at 3.8 and this is only 19 out of 20. That's, that's incredibly high for a T-Rex. I'm going to go down the line to show you my colors as well as show you the levels. I actually did not get a lot of interesting colors in my mutations. This one here, I don't know if you guys can see it, has a green back to it. Get on top of it so you can see. Keep going. And there was my first stamina mutation. So remember the last one was 3-8 and this one is 2-3. Quite a bit of a jump. Nice orange color there. It's a shame that didn't make it to the end. Right. Now over here, this is what I wanted to show you. This is where my 20 out of 20 stamina, damage, and health mutations have gone. So, as you can see, I have my female health, 20 out of 20. Let's go ahead and look at her. And her health is at 20,000. And that is the base level. That's without putting any points into health. That is what her health is starting, which is actually very, very good. And again, this one is female. Now this is the damage and this is the stamina mutation that I did off camera. Now there's one thing that I noticed with these two, the stamina and the damage, that I did not get with the health and I'm going to show you real quick. On my health, when I go to show ancestors, over on the right, random mutations, I have 20 out of 20. That's good. You want all of them on the same side. However, when I go to my damage and I look at show ancestors at the bottom, on the right it says 19 out of 20 and then on the left it says 1 out of 20 and this is incorrect this should all be on the same side now I know I've done mine correctly and this can happen one of your mutations as you go along will jump on the other side I'm not entirely sure why this happens I think it has something to do with the color that you get mutated as well um, I could be wrong on that but either way we need to correct this this is a male, and this is my damage. And that's what I came up with for my damage. Now the problem is, is that we want to take all three of these because these have awesome stats, and we want to combine them together. So for example, we want to put 20,000 health with better damage. We want to put that 20,000 health with this 613 damage, because this only has 11. And then we want to put that with stamina as well, because if you look at my stamina, the stamina came out final at 30, uh, 3,906, which is really good. I want to put all three of these stats together, which we will. But first, we need to correct this problem that both the damage and the stamina have, which is the 19 out of 20. And in order to do that, what we need to do is we're going to breed this male damage 20 out of 20 with a base female right here. And as you can see, I've already put them on enabled mating. They've laid a bunch of eggs. So what we need to do is collect these up, hatch them, and what we're looking for is the same exact level as this right here. Plus, we would like to get a male because if you look, I have a female, a male, and a female. So you remember, you need at least one male and at least one female for this step. And again, I'm going to look at it real quick. Show ancestors, 19 out of 20, 1 out of 20. 613. Okay. So again, we're going to look for the same exact stats in the baby 
It needs to be the exact same level and the exact same stats, and it must be a male. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect up these eggs, I'm going to go to my air cons, and I'm going to hatch these up until I get the same stats as my male damage 20 out of 20. Exact same. Right, and again, I am looking for a level 309 male. So there are plenty of 309s. There's actually a couple of 311s there, but what I'm looking for is the 309. That one's female, so I don't need that. Let's grab this brown, reddish one. Female again. Female again. And our male. There we go. So we're going to rename him. Options, change name. Male damage 20 out of 20. Now, remember, do not imprint upon this because we need it completely pure. So I'm going to go up to its stats and I'm going to show you guys. Go to Show Ancestors. Now here we go. On the right hand side, you can see that it is properly 20 out of 20. So we've gone ahead and corrected the problem. What we need to do now is we need to let this little guy grow up so that we can replace that male that's out there that has the 19 out of 20 on one side and then the 1 out of 20 on the other. So we're going to let him grow up. Right, so that male damage 20 out of 20 that I was breeding for grew up. And if I go up to it now, just like I showed you before, if I go to show ancestors, 20 out of 20 is now on the right hand side, which is good. So we do not need that male damage right there, 20 out of 20, because remember this has the stat mutations, 19 on one side and 1 on the other. But before we can actually breed all three of them together, we need to correct the female stamina as well. So when you go up to her and you go to show ancestors, on the right hand side you see 19 out of 20, and then on the left you see 1 out of 20. So we're going to do the exact same thing that we did for that male damage there. Now because this one's a female, go to behavior, enable mating, we need to go to the base male here. Bring him a little bit closer, behavior, enable mating. And we're going to breed the female stamina, 20 out of 20, with the base male. And we are going to look for the exact same level as this female stamina, 20 out of 20. And I'm also going to be going for a female. So the baby must have the exact same stats. But when we get it, the ancestors will be 20 out of 20, perfect, like this on the right hand side. So I've got the eggs, I'm incubating them now, and they're ready to hatch. I am looking for a level 309, and it must be female. And there we go. So we're going to go ahead and double check her ancestors. And 20 out of 20. So we're going to go ahead and go to options, change name. Twenty out of twenty. Disable following. We'll cryo her up, and we'll let this one grow up as well until she is fully maturated to begin the last and next step. Right. So now the female stamina, twenty out of twenty, has finally grown up as well. So now all three of these have twenty out of twenty on one side. Now we have two females female for health, female for stamina, and a male for damage. So what we have to do first is we must breed two of them together so that we can get a baby that has both of these stats mutated. Once we do that, then we need to stack that baby with this female here. So we're going to breed first the damage and the stamina together. And then once we get a male baby that has both of the stats, we're going to breed that with the female health, and then we will get our final result. So let's go up to the male damage, go to behavior, enable mating. Then we will go over to the female stamina, behavior, 
enable mating. Now these two are going to lay eggs. Well, just the female will. And once I've collected several eggs, I'm going to take these eggs and then I'm going to hatch them and I will show you the results of what comes out of the egg once I get about five eggs. Now then, I'm going to be looking for the stats of a male that has combined both damage and the stamina. So first thing I want to do is I want to look at the levels. And I see a lot of 3, 4, 9s. 309 is the old number. 269 is a very, very old number. So 349 is a new number. I'm going to go up to 1 and I'm going to claim it. I'm going to check its stats immediately. And this one here happens to be a male. Health is the same. There is my stamina. Oxygen is the same. Food is the same. The weight is the same. And there is my damage, 613.9. Movement speed, same. Torpidity is the same as well. If I go to show ancestors, I have 20 random mutations here, 20 random here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this male and I'm going to cryo up this male. And I'm going to go ahead and let this mature. And I'm going to take this male, 349, I'm going to take this male, 349, and I'm going to breed it over here with this female health, 309. So let's go ahead and put out this little guy. We're going to let this grow up, and we need to rename him as well. So remember, this is the damage and stamina, and this is a male. So we're going to go up to it, options, change name. Male final, damage and stamina. And we're going to let this like little guy grow up and we're going to breed him with the female health 20 out of 20. The damage and stamina 349 has finally matured. And remember this is male and we need to breed it with the health stat. So go over here. It has the stamina and it has the melee damage. So what we're going to do now is go up to this one. Go to behavior, enable mating and go up to this one here and we're going to go to behavior enable mating so we're going to take the health stat off of this one here 20,000 and we're going to combine that with what we have here which is stamina and damage combined to make our final baby this will be the final step in getting all of the stats on the same dyno now we will need, just like how we have a base pair, a base male and female, we are also going to need a male and a female. When you look at the numbers below, you're going to notice that there's only one that stands out in terms of number right now, and that one should be obvious. It is the 389 over here. So when I go up to this one and click imprint, and I go to its inventory, and I look, it has the health, it has the stamina, and it also has the damage. Now this one here is a male. When I go to show ancestors, you're gonna notice that there's 40 out of 20 on one side, and there's 20 out of 20 on this side here. And when you total that up, that's 60. So 40 plus 20 over there is 60. So this one has all three of the stats. What we need to do now is hatch more until we get a female. Until then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this male here and I'm going to let him grow up and I'm going to keep breeding the same dinos out there, the same two, to get my female. So let's go ahead and get him, cryo him up, let him grow up. And so I have the male 389 
and what I'm looking for now is a female 389. Let's go up to this, claim it, and it's female. So we're going to go to option, change name, We are calling this the female final because it is the female final. We're going to go ahead and cryo this up. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this female out here. And this was the male that I just got that is level 389. So we're going to drop her here next to the male. Right, so when we go up to the male over here, and you look at the stats, it has the health, it has the stamina, and it has the damage. When you go over to the female, it has the health, it has the stamina, and it also has the damage. And again, 40 plus 20 is 60 because we went through three chains, so that is 60 mutations in total. This was a lot of Rexes to actually go through. Now, there is one last thing I want to show you guys before I call it quits. So, essentially, this is the final step. Now, what you would do with these two, the reason why I went for both a male and a female was because I wanted to take these, and now I can breed up as many of these fully mutated T-Rexes as I want. So when I breed these two together, I'm only going to be looking for level 389. If I do happen to get a mutation, it will probably be in like health, or excuse me, it'll, help, it'll be in oxygen or weight or something like that. Now, it is very important that you understand, just like the bases, these are considered a base as well for future breeding. So you probably want to write down the stats of what your final creature is. I will never imprint upon these two and I will never level these two because these are meant for breeding so that I can just continue breeding the super babies. So what I'm going to do is let this female here grow up. I'm going to make some eggs between these two to get three more of the same exact stats because I want to show you what leveling those looks like because this guys is the base level now 389 compared to what it originally was at the very beginning 225 it is very it is very very high compared to what it originally was and to give you perspective remember this is the original this is the base female from the from the first. 11, 226, 378. And if we compare that to what is now the final base male, those stats are incredibly higher. We're going to go ahead, let this little girl here grow up, and we're going to breed the final male with the final female because both of these have the same stats. These three eggs here are coming from my final male and my final female, so the level should be about 389. Yep, all of them are 389, so I'm going to go up to each one and claim them, and this is my last test to show you a little bit something. So now every time I breed my final male and my final female, these two right here, remember that's my final male? That is my final female. They're breeding up right now to make even more. The babies will always have now the health mutated stat, the stamina stat, and the melee damage stat. So these three over here, let's go ahead and look at them. This one's male. Yep, there's the health, there's the stamina, and there's the melee damage. All three of these have the mutated stats. And guess what? I can actually level up all three of those areas even further if I want by actually adding levels to the dino. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let these three here level up, uh, grow up, and then I'm going to show you a little something extra with these.
all three of the baby Rexes have finally grown up. So I'm going to go ahead and show you their levels. They are 389. Now I went ahead up to each one of these Rexes and I gave it experience and I gave it all the experience that it could so it can gain 61 levels and that's for each of them. What I want to show you, the reason why I have three of them is because I want to show you exactly how this is going to work with leveling. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little test real quick. I'm going to pump nothing but health into this one because I want to show you what the actual stats look like if you were to just put all levels into one area, even with it mutated. So, <laughs> With all points, all of your 61 points put into your health, it will go up to 85,000 health, which is quite ridiculous. Now, if we go up to this one here, I'm going to put nothing but stamina. So it's at 3906. Now, I'm not sure why you would want 27,000 in stamina, but again, that's really interesting to know. And then I'm going to go up to damage, and this is the one that I am most interested in. And I'm going to put all my levels into damage. With all the levels put into damage, it's at 1,250. Now, I cannot imagine what this would be like if you were on official servers trying to go for mutations. I know people have done it on official, but kudos to you guys for sticking with it and doing that because that would be an absolute nightmare. Like I said, I've had my server settings boosted a bit, um, a lot actually. All right, and this is the completion of the mutations for this video. A shout out goes to Twisted, Knight and Sam for teaching me actually how to breed because without them I wouldn't know exactly what I was doing so thank you guys very much and for the rest of you thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time